Welcome to Automation Training Hub. Today's video, we are going to see how to develop a program using LD programming language. So in LD, what are the symbols first given? We'll see. In later diagram, the basic symbols are Envo contact, NC contact, coil. In this, Envo contact, NC contact are used as inputs and coil used as output. Suppose if you have doubt what is input output in the previous video, detail we have explained. So kindly check that video. So first we'll uh, understand what is invoke contact and its working principle. Invo contact. So invo means normally open contact. So that means what? Initially it will be in open state. Whenever input is triggered, it get close. So initially it will be in zero state. When input is triggered, input is triggered, it's changed its state to one. So initially it won't allow any supply to pass. Only when input is triggered, it get close and it passes the signal. So where we have to use this Envo contact now, in your program, if you say I want to start a motor or start the pump, then I have to use this Envo contact symbol. Similarly, NC contact. NC means normally close contact. So initially it will be in closed state. So due to that, it allow the supply to pass. But once input is triggered, it get open. So it restrict the supply. That means when we have to use this NC contact now, when we, when we want to stop the process, we have to use the NC contact. And coil represent the output. So in your program, I want to say like motor, pump, valves, then I have to use this coil symbol to represent the outputs. So let's see in the program how to use this symbol. So in the ladder diagram, always you are the programming start like this. You will have a left rail and right rail. That means so you can see in the left side one vertical line is the that will be the starting point of your program and right side vertical line you can see that is end of your program. So always your program should start from left to right. So that means inputs should be placed in left hand side of the line and output should be placed in right hand side. So each line in ladder diagram we call it as rung. So if you say line 1, line 2 now in ladder diagram, we have to use the term rung 1, rung 2, rung 3, like that. And each symbol have its own address. So right now, the contact get close. So that means the state changes to 1. That status will be stored in that address only. So it is very important whenever you use a symbol, always that symbol should be used with address. And uh, let's see some rules when we develop a program, what we have to follow. In a rung, without address, we should not use it. So if you are using now, it will show as error. Second, in a rung, without any output, we should not use. That means only input alone you are using in a rung it is error. That means the circuit is not close. So when you're using input plus output, then only the circuit get close. And third is same way. Output can't be used alone. And fourth rule is you can see already I told you always the input should be placed in left side and output should be in right side. If you change that order now, it will be error. 
your the program won't execute. And in this uh, rule, what they are saying is the output can't be used in series. If you say when the switch is on, two motors uh, should on. What we have to do is two motors should be connected in parallel, not in series. And sixth rule is same like fourth one. So you can't use uh, input after coil. Seventh one is, you can see in this, they given when the switch one, switch two. When both switches activated, M1 should on, that is motor should on. So we should not uh, develop a program in this way. Like uh, in rung one, when the switch one is on, motor one is on. In rung two, switch two is on, motor one is again on. So the motor output signal can be used only once. You can't duplicate that uh, same address again and again as a coil. So only once we have to use the output symbol. So to execute this one, what we have to do is you can connect two switches in series. You can connect the motor. So this is the correct procedure you have to do. In eighth condition, you can see in a single drunk, we can't use two horizontal lines. You can see this is uh, not like rung one, rung two. It is in a single rung. They have used uh, two horizontal lines. So how we have to use this now? You can use in this order. Separately, we can use it. So this line uh, should not be made. So if this uh, horizontal line comes between S2 and uh, M2 now, it act like what? Second horizontal line in a rung one itself. So in a rung, only one horizontal line can have, but multiple parallel contact or parallel coil, we can use it. So that is the correct procedure. Okay. So let's stop till this. So these are the basic symbols and how to use. In the next class, we'll see how to develop a program by using these uh, rules uh, and conditions. And in the next video, I will uh, help you in which website we can download the PLC software and how to install it so that we can start practicing in the software. Thank you.